All right, hi, today we're going to cook a broiled flounder. Now this works with any fish, basically about the same size, uh, somewhere about, I can get a tape measure, but somewhere about uh, this size or less, and it can go straight on the broiler. Now, what we're going to do is heat up the pan first, and we're gonna melt some butter on here. So it's kind of like we're basting fish in here. I'm gonna squeeze some lemon on it. This creates a really amazing, delicate, soft, buttery fish. A little bit of olive oil. And we're gonna put this under the broiler to melt it so that the bottom of it gets hot. Okay, now to season the fish, peppers that we grow in our garden, dried peppers. So I'm just gonna use the heel of my knife to cut these up. Now if you don't have dried chilies, chili flakes will work just fine if you can get the ones without seeds, even better. And if you don't wanna use a knife, if you have a coffee grinder, Throwing these in the coffee grinder makes a nice chili powder. This chili is a, called a Criolla Cella, which they have a good blend of sweetness and heat. They're not really, really hot, but they're just hot enough. But they're also balanced and they taste like chili, so you can use enough of them to get that flavor. So we got our butter and lemon, olive oil. It's a little brown, but I want that, you know, I want that to be a little bit brown. And for seasoning, salt. Pepper. I like my food a little bit spicier than you might, so you may not want to put all the chilies on there. And same thing on the other side. Once all the seasonings are on here, I'm just going to dredge this through the pan, through the butter. Kind of get it on both sides like that. Just a little pat. Okay, and then back in the broiler. Because these fish are a little thinner, I'm going to go all the way on the bottom with these, and I'm going to keep an eye on them, because broilers can be a little tricky. If you get too close to the top of the broiler, it'll, it'll you know, get the fish too dark before it actually cooks. So you want to kind of move it down. I mean, uh, broilers are different in different ovens. This one's really hot, so you have to watch it and be careful. Pull these out, set them down. I'm going to baste it a little bit before we plate it. Now I'm using this little pan here, but a glass rectangle dish would work really well for this. You can tell if it's done just by kind of squeezing it a little and the flakes in there will separate. This works really good with salmon or sea bass, halibut. You can smell it, it smells really great. I really like the brown butter. It's a really interesting way to do this fish. Adds a lot of flavor and to a very, you know, what normally would be a very plain white fish. This adds a lot of gusto and life to it. Just throw some of these for people to pick up and give it a little extra right before they eat it. This is my favorite part right here. When we take off that first, Delicious, flaky, look at that. Look how white and beautiful that is. See that? Or that contrast to that brown butter and the chili. Mmm. That is fantastic. And look again, see how the meat just is so delicate and just soft and beautiful. Broiled flounder, chilies and lemon.